Hello everyone and welcome back to Save File. Mike here and I'm going to be doing another uh, reaction for you today. Sorry, I had to make the distinction between reaction and review. I know it's probably not that important, but I do it anyways. So today what I want to check out is the new Incubus single, Into the Summer. Um, now, I like Incubus as a band. I have for a long time, but I, I am one of the camp that after... Uh, like grenades i just i think they took a hiatus after that and after they came back i just never really got into them again and it's not so much that i didn't like their new output though i heard it wasn't that great i haven't heard it myself i just think that i never checked them out and to me like a crow left of the murder and like grenades good albums but I just kind of didn't like the direction they were going. So, you know, I am one of those people that thinks Science is the best Incubus album because it was so different at the time. It had that cool, like, aggressive funk sound to it, and I'm super into funk music and, you know, great bass playing. So I was a huge fan of Incubus because of their old bass player, Dirk Lance, and just his style in general. So the first three albums... uh well, I guess it's not the first three. I've never listened to Fungus and Mungus, but Science, uh, Make Yourself, and Morning View? Shit. <laughs> I should probably check that, but those three albums are just, like, amazing. After that, they got Ben Kenny as their bass player, and I he's a good bass player, but they just kind of lost that edge to their music. So, I don't know. I have no idea what they sound like now. I haven't heard anything from their last two albums, which were, uh, if not now, when, and eight. So, I don't know. I have no idea what their modern output is like. So, I'm going to check out this song and see what I think. This is the uh, official music video as well. So, let's get to it. Summer's almost over, though. It's pretty good, actually. I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, Brandon Boyd, always a great singer. And Mike Einziger is always like a guitar wizard. And you can kind of see that. I know it's a music video, but the like what he's doing with the neck of the guitar is probably pretty realistic to what he actually does. It's got like a, that light funk sound, so it's not nowhere near as aggressive as the earlier stuff was, but I do like that they're bringing back that that funky side of themselves so that's a that's a big plus you know um definitely still poppy like pretty dang poppy but it's got enough to differentiate itself and thank god you can tell that like they're playing instruments as opposed to a lot of modern pop so it's not bad like i expected to be disappointed by this and i'm really not so let's keep going Love's like a coiling vine It breaks through the cracks in my wall The fruits of it we distill Until you stepped over the line I remember the way that it was It's been calling out to me forever But I shouldn't have let you go Summer, oh, I remember the way that it was It's been calling out to me forever 
Weird video. I found myself being very distracted by the, the video more than anything else. But I really like the song, actually. And I'm glad that I like the song because, like I said, having not listened to any of Incubus's output over the past uh, 10 years or so, I didn't really know what to expect. I kind of thought maybe they were going to be all, you know... I don't want to use pop as a derogatory term because there is some pop music that I really enjoy. But this is a band that I'm used to having, you know, just a little more depth to their music. And while I think that this song was still a bit surface level, it had enough to it that it was distinctly incubus. The bass playing, the drumming, the guitar playing. And of course, Brandon's voice. You know, he's got a distinctive voice. You can always hear it and think, yeah, man, that's that's Brandon. That's Incubus. So I would give this a decent rating. Not that I rate songs very much when I do this, but it was a good song. And I think that I don't know that it would ideally be a summer jam because it's kind of laid back. And I, I'm speaking for the general populace here. Like for me. I'll come back to this. I like this quite a bit, and I'll be interested in hearing more of the album, to be honest with you, which is nice. So, good song. And, uh, yeah, I, maybe I'll go back and check out what they've been doing since I stopped listening to them. I don't know. There's, there's so much music out there, guys. There's so much, and it's hard to check it all out. So, that's what I'm trying to do, check out all the things. So... Hopefully you're enjoying the journey with me, because, well, a lot of people will check out the Nightwish videos, but I'm kind of trying to do a lot of other stuff, so if you feel so inclined, I'd ask that you check those out and do all of these standard YouTube things like comment, subscribe, share, comments, I love likes, I love liked are super important on YouTube, so if you give me that thumbs up, it'll help me get more eyes on my stuff, which is pretty cool. That's kind of the whole goal here. And that's really all I have to say about that. In terms of other plugs, I would ask that you check out the podcast my friends and I do. It is called The Roll Less Taken, where we play a tabletop RPG game. We're trying to use uh, lesser used playsets. And what I mean by that is basically anything that's not Dungeons and Dragons. D&D is a great game, but there are a lot of cool other uh, playsets out there, which is what we're trying to use. Uh, on our current campaign, which we have called Vagabonds. Oh, it's called The Roll Less Taken. I should probably say that. So, on The Roll Less Taken Season 1, Vagabonds, we are using the Weave playset, or the Weave system, I suppose it's called, by the Monocle Society. And we are using the Solar Age playset, which is a Space Age playset, where things take place in space. There's spaceships, lasers, space cats, artificial intelligence, and all the sorts of things that you would come to expect from a space type setting. We are currently on episode 13 or 14 in terms of what we have out there for people to listen to. Though, in terms of recording, we are very close to having the campaign finished. You can see here I'm wearing my uh, Thank You Scientist t-shirt. It's an old one. It's faded. Um, but yeah, if you could check out The Role Less Taken, any place you can find podcast so that would be spotify google apple itunes amazon iHeartRadio, stitcher all pretty much any place you can find podcasts we're on there we are the role is taken role is spelt r-o-l-e uh you can find us on social media so you can find us on facebook and instagram at the role less taken and twitter at role less taken again role is spelt r-o-l-e in all of those cases and that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you check out the podcast. And as always, I humbly request that you just be kind to each other, damn it. And have a good night, day, evening, wherever you are at. Bye-bye.